Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Thank you. That's the earliest birthday of uh, the major, major characters. Okay. Okay. Might there be new things to do? Uh, I'm gonna say beforehand, definitely, but... If there's not new quests and whatnot, I don't know what would be the best thing to actually do. Certifications, though. I should have... Less than I thought at five. Damn it. Uh. I passed thanks to you, Professor. Uh, yeah. You know... I sort of wish... Because I set them all to have the appearances in here. One sec. So, at least you can change it relatively easily. Because I am curious about how it looks, basically. You can set it so that the monastery, like, uh, visuals show up as their costume in battle. But it also applies to this, which is sort of annoying. I have success! Uh, so it also seems we have quite a few supports. So let's do those. I'm not finished with you. I am Caspar. Yes, very enthusiastic. I can see the fighting angle. What's going on, Hubert? You need something? I watched you training earlier. Pitiful display. Uh, excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? You yell before every move. I know. I do it on purpose. It's how I get fired up. Is that a problem for you? You scared? Stupid habit. If you value your life, you'll break it. What are you talking about? It sounds like you might have a problem with me. As a matter of fact, I do. If it was only your own idiotic life at stake, I wouldn't bother saying anything. But it's not. Your foolishness hurts everyone. Ooh, you sure do love to hear yourself talk. Suppose you were to shout on the battlefield as you did in your training today. It is very likely the enemy could anticipate your next move based on your insipid blather. I'm just gonna note, like, obviously we can see where this is going, but it's like, wow, this really seems like them getting closer. And what if your allies are startled by your outburst and fumble with their weapons as a result? This is not to mention the obvious fact that you would utterly botch any covert operation. You really think I'm that stupid? I only shout when it's completely necessary. I don't do it all the time. Whatever habits you develop in training, you will reproduce on the battlefield. Combat is tense and frantic. You will default to your training whether you mean to or not. Hey, why don't you just shut up about it? I can control myself. Okay, yeah. They're definitely getting along very well. <laughs> yep, yep, su super, super close, guys. The closest. Closest of all the closest. <sighs> it's peaceful here. Flowers are so calming. Just looking at these, it's like all the terrible parts of the day just disappear. If only people could be more like flowers. <sighs> What's Burn doing? She looks like there's something wrong. All these nobles are just terrifying. And the commoners? Just look at Dorothea. So pretty, popular, dazzling. There's no way someone like me could ever be close with someone like that. Burn, are you okay? <laughs> Dorothea! Did you hear all that? Just the part about you wishing you could get along with someone. So, Burn, who have you got a crush on? Seriously, now you have to tell me. Who are they? Do I know them? <sighs> I'm so excited for you, Burn. Um, no, I was actually thinking about 
being friends with you. Me? My expected response? Are we all are we already friends? She's calling her a nickname already. I thought we already were friends. That's n not what I mean. Oh, I'm such a coward. I thought it would be great if we could be closer. But old memories just get in the way for me. Burn, whatever happened in the past, you know you have my full support. I'm here for you. I thought we'd already been friends for a long time now. Please, just forget it. We'll never be close friends. Father would just... He would just... <laughs> no! Wait, I... Father? What did she mean by that? It feels like any single one involving Bernadetta is, like, mostly focused on her. Interestingly. Huh. Alright, time for some more... Oh, Petra. Hi. Caspar, do you want to train with each other? Uh, yeah, sure. Y you seem to uh, die down the enthusiasm pretty quickly there. You have had new training recently, and great improvements. I want great improvement too. Will you give me help? Well, hey, look at that. You pay more attention than I gave you credit for. I have been trying new training methods. They're definitely paying off. My movements are much sharper lately, more precise. I am knowing that. I want that too. You teach, I learn. We both get more strength. It will be greatness. All right. I mean, I guess we can give it a shot. Um, Petra? Yes, Kaspar? Um, no, uh, never mind. Sorry. I was just thinking about something else. Nothing at all. Let's train. I heard a question in your voice. Say it. No, no, no. It's really nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. I will not be worrying. Can we begin the training? <laughs> ah, fine. We can talk about it if you insist. You can stop pretending like you don't know. What am I knowing? About my father. Your father? He is of the military in the Empire. I hear he has great skill. No, not that. Well, it's kind of about that. I'm talking about when Dagda and Bridget invaded the Empire. My father led the Empire's army that fended off the invaders. Huh. Dagda and Bridget. That must have been a long time ago. I feel like... Was that recent? Oh, I'm not remembering the timeline stuff from last time too well. I, I thought the Bridget thing was not that new. Like, it was at least hundreds of years, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. Your father was in that battle. Did you really not know? My father killed yours. You... How long have you had this knowing? I just found out recently. I had no idea before then. But it's all I've been able to think about since. So, now you have the truth. Petra? <sighs> Damn it. What am I supposed to do now? Ooh, okay. You have all these other ones where it's like, oh my goodness, am I gonna make friends? It's like, my dad killed your dad. It's like, <laughs> whoa. The drama in that one went up to 11, comparatively. Another fine day, alone in my room, and plenty of books to read. Bernadetta, I have something to discuss with you. Um, what? I didn't do anything! No need to be defensive. I am not angry. Oh, you definitely are! I can tell! Just get it over with! What did I do? You did not do anything wrong. Please, listen. Look, just breathe, will you? Can't breathe? Too scared? I see that you are struggling. Please calm down. <gasps> Easy for you to say? Deep breaths, deep breaths. 
I just wanted to discuss how you are always hiding in your room. It seems like something must be troubling you for you to shut yourself away like that. If something is the matter, maybe I can help. But you need to tell me what it is first. No, uh, no thanks. I'm fine. See, I'm breathing out. You fixed me. Can I go? Do you not realize that life is passing you by? Have you no desire to venture beyond this reclusive lifestyle? There is a whole world waiting for you out there. The social life of a noble is actually rather... Just stop it! I'm not interested! Bernadetta, this is unhealthy behavior. Is she a noble? I beg you to take my hand. Otherwise, I will have to pick you up and carry you and neither of us will... What if I actually like being alone? Is that so hard to imagine? It's none of your business! Get lost! Ugh. No! He's dead! Ugh, ouch! I sprayed my wrist! Shoot. Oh, no, 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 no. Now you've done it, Bernie. Now you're his eternal rival. I do not wish to hurt you. Actually, I... No! I'm done for! You'll be the death of me for sure! Maybe I should just come back later. And next time... The Eternal Rivals fight face off once again. <laughs> uh. Petra, industrious as ever, I see. Hello, Hubert. Yes, I am trying to be industrious. I must be working hard to improve my position. Right now, it is not a good one. Even accounting for that, your efforts are impressive. I wish a little of you would rub off on certain people here. One troublesome slouch in particular. Rub? I will not be rubbing on anyone. Not literally. I never would have imagined you would adjust so well to life in Fodlan. When I first met you, you couldn't understand a single word of the language. You had the look of a cornered animal. So much so, I thought you'd grown up in the wild. I had more youth then. And the experience was... Uh, terrifying. My grandfather ordered me to go to Fodlin with suddenness. I was stolen to a strange land filled with strange people. The treatment I was receiving was like... Like I was a strange beast. It is unfortunate. But while you were called our guest, you were actually a hostage. You were meant to be insurance that Brigid would not restore its alliance with Dagda and attack us. The Empire required leverage. And after all, you are the Princess of Brigid. It gave me sadness to leave my home. But I am not unhappy that I came to the Empire. I have learned much understanding from the outside world. My experience has made me become who I am. And meeting you and Lady Edelgard has had great value for me. I admire your spirit in the face of adversity. You set a strong example to follow. <laughs> and there is much more adversity to come. I quite like him. Like, he's one of those guys where it's like, he's like, uh, initial appearance is like, uh, maybe want to steer clear, but he seems more, more inclined to simply being an upstanding guy more than anything. Okay, that's all of them. You must try harder from now. Okay, no new quest, at least. Uh, does everyone have the same dialogue? Huh? Things we can't obtain here. Uh, yep, 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 yep. So basically, it's an excuse to go and, uh, do more of the facility stuff. How much? Uh, I have three now. Okay, good. I can actually sort of make use of that. Yeah, I do sort of want to get up Echo's bow. I still have much to learn. Maybe not riding, maybe not riding, but more like um, bow slash, uh, bow slash sword user. I don't think I have anyone else like that at the moment. So you can cook, but you can only do it with one person. But it gives you in, in it gives you increased stats for the rest of the month. Hmm. 
I think that's... I don't think the stats there are gonna make the difference. At least... It might not. Oh, look at that level 5 Swordmaster. <laughs> I have to wait till level 20 to do it myself. Oh, it looks like everyone is ahead of me in levels, goddammit. Uh. As a noble, I try to ensure my manners are perfect. Here I can relax a bit, however. Ah, oh, I can eat so much of this stuff. My stomach's growling just thinking about it. Sort of two ends of the spectrum, eh? Uh, I sort of feel like these two don't like each other, but they're sort of important to get along. <laughs> um, yeah. In general, I'm trying to. Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. Our voices are all over the place. We must learn to work together in harmony. I can totally get why he does or she doesn't like him very much. He's uh, he feels like a suck up. Practice yields results. Oh wait, that didn't help morale, did it? Oh, I forget what that actually helps. It it helps something. Uh, a couple things that were fairly important. Uh, well, either way, I think that's everything I could do. I'm not really sure how useful I'm... It's, it's one of those things where I just feel... Uh, I might be a little bit better if I, like, was playing along with you guys and you guys gave me comments, but I sort of feel like me doing this as blind as possible, at least for the first run, offers a little bit more of a, you know better experience <laughs> for me as well as for the YouTube shit, so. Uh, instruction, yes. What do I want to get done this week? Oh, these two actually have? I didn't realize these two had a Thing together. No, yeah, that makes sense. I'm trying to think of, like, reasons, because, like, a lot of the, like, visions I have for each of these characters are quite a bit. So, obviously, I don't know too well. I think I'm going to have to start splitting off some of the characters into having different goals. If just to get some of their stuff up to, like, say, C, uh, like, uh, some things up to C and then have other ones. Like, I, I wonder how strictly I need to stay to this, or if I'll have a chance in order to get their skills up to higher stuff in the future, basically. Because, mm, like, hers, like, I, I gave her some more axe stuff in order to... Because I want to make her, like, a wyvern archer. That's, like, the idea I have in my mind, like a flying archer for what I want her to be. But that sort of requires some skill with an axe as well, unfortunately. I sort of wish they had just, like, a final class for every single combination. That really would be nice in my head. It'd make a lot of sense. You are giving me praise? I will get... Okay, so she's up to D on that, so I probably... Because I think I changed her goal in that regard. I don't think there's anything too much I can... Uh, I might want to put her back to... I could just try to instruct her in that a bunch. And then... You know what? Let's see. I have understanding. Let's see if I can get her... I have understanding. Oh, wow. I can get her bow to this, and I have an excuse to put her on axe and... Uh, Flying for the I'm goal for now. In on expertise. Yeah, what is expertise? Because there's a C, and I assume there's C plus, and then B, etc., etc. That went way. It's sort of committed to keeping you on these two for now. I don't see any reason why not. Essentially, I feel like if I take, like, I want to keep all of them on one thing specifically at least, and that'll probably be something that rises like. 
A level, probably. I am beginning to under. Banshee. Ah, oh, it's. Okay. I can see the concept behind it. And with him, I'm trying, trying, trying to do someone who's basically all ranged attacks between magic and bow. I'm not. Again, I look at the advanced classes and I don't want to limit. It's like, I sort of don't want to limit myself to specifically, like, okay, I'm going to make them so they can go to an advanced class, etc., etc. I sort of want to give them a concept and progress them like that, more so than anything. But that also is probably a very risky way to approach this, so... Professor? Ah, uh, that's so very different. <laughs> The best way to impress people is to save them by tapping the harm way. That's what a great knight does, yeah? So let's focus on my axe and heavy armor skills. Uh, no. I'm not too concerned about my relationship with <laughs> you. Uh, sure. Hello, Professor. May I speak with you? You seem to hold Edelgard in high esteem. That is my impression, at least. Yeah, I'd say that she makes a very good impression in terms of work ethic, attitude, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, she's got a lot to learn. And she seems like a good person to learn. Well now, that is not what I expected you to say. You clearly have high standards. And what is your opinion of me? I am at least her equal, am I not? Be honest, do not hold back. Pretend that I am just a regular person, not this scion of a noble house. You are nowhere near her at the moment. You are not incompetent, but you are not near her at the moment. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but... You think she is better than me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't think this would go well. I'm being honest, guys. I was just being modest before. Honestly, I have always prided myself on being superior to Edelgard. But evidently, that is not your perspective. Hmm. I suppose there is only one thing to do. I must demonstrate my excellence. Wait, 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 wait. So your conclusion isn't... Okay, I need to try harder. It's... I need to prove you wrong. Well, I can't stop you. Precisely. You cannot stop me. I will prove that you have drastically underestimated me. You think I could ignore such a slight upon my honor? Not likely. Come, Professor. <laughs> okay, that one was pleasing. We will begin with battle. Edelgard's skills in combat are no match for mine. I heard that just the other day, she defeated a demonic beast without assistance. Well, anything Edelgard can do, I can do better. And in half the time. Professor, you can be my eyewitness and timekeeper. Here we go! Two at once? That's... well, it will be fine. Will it? Well, good luck. I can't do it. It seems you have saved my life. I... Thank you, Professor. Time for some tough lessons. Oh! That actually helped and gave you motivation that doesn't actually apply right now. Whatever. We don't even have a lesson next week. Uh, sure. Hey, Professor. What's going on? Actually, where are we? Quiet. Uh, okay. Why are we being so quiet, though? Oh, look at that guy. He looks pretty suspicious. I said shut up! This is actually important, so shh. What do you think he's up to? 
Never mind that. Let's get him. Shh. <laughs> okay, you need. To, uh, I okay. I feel like I'm basically teaching them fucking lessons. Suspicion is not enough to go on. Why not? We can figure out what he's up to after we capture him. But I. I have to explain this to you. My instincts tell me that he's up to no good, and my instincts are never wrong. Never ever. Come on, let's get him before he has a chance to strike. Um... I think both of these lead to me doing absolutely nothing. So let's try to warn him. The path he's walking on leads to... Huh? Huh! It leads to the plaza where the kids play! There's no way I'm letting this guy get anywhere near those kids! Oh, crap. No, that's... Shit. Kaspar! <sighs> Why did you disobey your professor? Uh, well, I... I am not seeking excuses from you. I asked because I want you to consider your actions and apologize for them. It just so happens that you were correct in your assumption that this man was a villain. If that were not so, he would not have chosen to take his own life upon seeing you advancing toward him. Great! So I was... But, because of your actions, that is all we know. There is no way for us to know who he was, what he was planning to do, or if he has allies lurking about. The only lead we have is a scorpion tattooed on his arm. If this indicates that he was a member of an underground organization, we have no way of dealing with it. Are you prepared to be held responsible if his group commits a serious crime? <sighs> yeah, yeah, shit like this. As his professor, I will take responsibility. Oh, I couldn't possibly. No, good teacher. I know that I fucked up. I didn't properly calm him down. What are you talking about, Professor? We didn't do anything wrong. Those kids might have been in danger if we didn't act. I couldn't just stand by and let that happen. Pulse of one, isn't he? <laughs> Yay, motivation going up now of all times. Uh, I guess we'll do our best. Oh no, this is impossible. We got through that without trouble. Well, that was pretty basic. Okay. I'd never have learned this back in my room. Oh, <laughs> I see now. Okay, cool. I'm slow to get other people up and working on the uh, the faith stuff for healing, but I do have a few people uh, that have faith ability now for healing, so I can have healing a bit more across the battlefield in terms of uh, options. Hmm. I still can't certify a decent number of my guys. I feel the justification for doing battle here. Then again, I do sort of want... I feel like I want to dwell on the decision, but I just don't know enough to actually do more than make a general logical call and a little bit of a gut call on what might be more important at the moment. Because it's not like I'll be able to certify them again. We'll have another battle soon enough. Their levels will go up. I'm sort of... Would be surprised if I was at such a bad state, level-wise, that I wouldn't be able to handle the next battle. Uh, I could always save. And if I need to, I'll have that ability to go back and do the battle to level up more. I could probably... I wonder how much this would push people up. Hmm. Uh, for now. Yeah. <laughs> These two have some, uh, fun times. You came at just the right time, Edelgard. Is that so? 
Yes, I have a story for you. Is it about how you got your ass whooped? It's about a pair of nobles living about a hundred years after the founding of the Adresian Empire. One was Derek Von Eyer. People called him the warrior prime minister. He bravely led soldiers into battle and mowed down his enemies. And the other... Was the emperor of the time. She wagered the throne in a duel against Derek and won. Whoa, a story I'm sure everyone knows and... You know, I think I know the difference in the real, like, colliding force between these two. Edogard wants to change things in the future. That's like her whole thing, right? She wants to be a big reformist. And Ferdinand here, he's like all about his family lineage and the history and the pride and etc, etc, etc. Why don't we do what our ancestors did and have a little duel ourselves? <laughs> That's what you were going to say. But the answer is no. Oh, I don't even- that was not even a good impression, but it was a perfect impression. You interrupted me! But was she wrong? The warrior prime minister used a dramatic line to propose the duel, and you did not allow me to say it! My apologies, Ferdinand. <laughs> well, at any rate, you were correct in surmising that I was about to challenge you. But you were rather blunt in your refusal. Ferdinand, control yourself. When will you tire of challenging me in pointless competitions? I can quit now if you insist on it. I will not challenge you again. You expect me to believe that? Why do you look so surprised? Of course it is not a valid duel unless both parties are willing. Now that you have refused outright, I must come up with some other way of getting that which I seek. I'm afraid to ask what you could possibly mean by that. Only that I will find some other way of showing everyone that I am superior to you. Huh. I will write a handbill listing your accomplishments, alongside my own more impressive accomplishments. Copyists will produce thousands of these pamphlets and distribute them far and wide. Then everyone will know about my... Oh, for fuck's sake. This has to stop. <sighs> Perhaps I should have ended things with a duel after all. Well, he's still like this. He got his ass, ass whooped the other day. I le legitimately told him, no, you're... You're not there. She has a lot to learn, you have a lot to learn. But you're not equals. <laughs> the fact that, like, before I had the choice of being, like, your equals are, nah, you're not up to her level. It means he would have taken offense either way, too. Shit, man. I need to find a way to get this guy levels. I, I, like, I feel like you can't get levels by basically just being a healer. Like, that's not actually a viable option. Hmm. Ooh, Anna can teach a class? Interesting. Curious how helpful this will be. I'm getting it. Not bad. Not bad at all. This will probably be the most useful. Like, I was curious how much that B would increase. This will probably be the most useful, if just because... Uh, every single person will be getting something that I actually want them to get. Yeah, that was some... <laughs> significant boost. Okay, and the bee didn't really give that much more, being realistic about it. Motivation went up too? Okay. Okay. Time for... Time for... Time for scary time. The stressful part of the game. No matter how powerful our enemies may be, there's no need to worry so long as we're with Catherine, the mighty wielder of Thunderbrand. Interesting, okay. Thunderbrand, eh? What might that be? You mean you don't Ooh. know? My weapon is called Thunderbrand. It's one of the hero's That's... relics. A long, long time ago, the goddess bestowed divine weapons upon ten heroes, which were passed down to their descendants. That is elaborate. 
Is it actually that good? Because it looks like it would break in many different ways. It's an honor to wield, but I'm afraid there won't be any chance for that today. Our mission is to help clean up the aftermath, not to fight. One must wonder why Lord Lenato would incite such a reckless rebellion. It all goes back to the tragedy of Dusker. You, oh, so we know the reason? I have not heard about it. Or if I have, I don't remember it. Roughly four years ago, the King of Fargus was murdered by the people of Dusker. I believe that about sums it up, correct? To put it simply, yes. But there's more to that story. They had accomplices within the kingdom as well. Lord Lenato's son, Kristoff, was one of them. And so he was handed over to the church for execution. Hmm. I'm a little more cons- I, I guess... I'm slightly concerned that the church is the one doing executions, too. I'm more concerned about why the king was targeted, though. What was the whole problem? King Lambert was attempting a major political reform. Needless to say, he had many enemies. Whatever the truth behind that incident may be, Lord Lenato has harbored resentment toward the church ever since. Well, to be more specific, his grudge isn't only against the church. It's also against the one who turned Kristoff over to them. Report! The enemy is approaching. They can't be avoided. Only against the church. It could be anyone in the kingdom at that point. I think it was Dimitri and them. Their numbers are far greater than we predicted. They used the fog to slip past the knight's perimeter. It looks like our mission just changed, Professor. Everyone, prepare for battle! Okay. Shock and all, right? I thought the fog wasn't to be wasn't uh, supposed to be all that bad. <laughs> this month's successful. Who's getting mages in those intermediate classes? Do you regain uh, retain levels on like New Game Plus and whatnot? Hmm. An interesting uh, thought at the very least. So yeah, I'm guessing we don't get yeah we don't get control over Catherine, but we are fighting with them. But we are the big numbers. Oh look at all that fog. We'll use these as guide uh, guide marks for what not to do then. Okay, so the big okay yeah. Out of sight. That's interesting. Okay, then we have to be very careful basically. Well, there's not really much I can do to prepare here. I, I I switched people around so that I had my uh, defensive guys a bit more towards the inside. Now that I think that I might want to switch them. Um. With this fog, it's impossible to tell where the enemy might be, or how many of them there are. The enemy could be trying to surround us, but they shouldn't have enough soldiers to form a tight circle. Take down anyone who breaks through the fog, and let's push through! That smell. It's fresh blood. It seems the battle has already started within the fog. Proceed with caution. Wait for them to enter your field of view. Low visibility maps. On battlefields with thick fog, your units will only be able to see enemies that are close by. Proceed with caution. A unit's movement will be cut short if it is interrupted by an enemy. Hmm. You can earn a reward if your allies do not suffer heavy losses. Be careful to not let your allies flee. I don't even know where my allies are. Stay focused. Here, let's let's approach it like this. That's my cue. As you wish. It should be a pretty safe formation. They're probably not going to be coming significantly from our left at this point, considering we had visibility towards that area. And I have a pretty decent line of defense coming from forward and a little bit from the forest. Yeah, 
Yeah, I try to stay back a little bit relative to the forest. Ooh, of course you... Well, that is a strong sword. I can see my enemies fall there pretty often. Uh, so, yeah. For now, I want to continue this concept. Basically... What I want to do is, one, I want to get this guy to level up for fucking once. And two, I want to keep a little bit of, um... I don't want to delve into the forest too easily because they can start attacking me from within. I want to keep a little bit of a line between the forest and that. So I want, basically, I want to form a line of distance between the forest and everything else, and then move forward with that in mind. You think we're just gonna do nothing while you try to kill our lord? Yeah. Archers are definitely what I'm most scared of at the moment, too. So, I'm getting fairly confident they're not going to be moving from the forest at this point. Like, then again, enemy dying there, enemy dying there. <laughs> Lots of options, am I right? Okay, he goes down. I still want to keep a line towards the forest in terms of, like, actual positioning. And keep some of my stronger melee guys out front. That can take a hit. He does not have movement for me to do with at the moment. Oh, that's promising. Their soldiers seem to be on a similar level. Ooh. From the fog, eh? I should probably heal my allies. They're good. Shit! No damage, though. I don't have to worry about her. I thought she was only level 20. Oh, she gets four attacks! Okay, I should try to heal this guy. I do not want him to go down. Well, we definitely have the opportunity to flank these three guys, so... We should do that. Oh, you have a sword on you? I didn't even realize. That's probably not a good idea to keep you on that. Thanks. Wow, why are the iron gauntlets better? That's impressive. I'm so confused as to why they're better. I'm still not getting why the multiple hits are happening, I guess. Okay, definitely hit him, please. Thank you. 
finally got him up to five. Like I said, we'd get a lot of people up to five in this one at minimum. Okay. And supplement my force up here with people in defensible positions. Pretty please. Pretty, pretty, pretty please. Somewhat defensible positions. No! Anna! No. You attack from a t quite a distance. Wow, okay. I feel like I have to hold Echo back, because she's just leveling up so much faster than anyone. And if I try to, like, attack this guy, I one-shot him. Which isn't necessarily a bad, bad thing, but you know. I want to get other people experience, too. Finally, he's at five. So I can definitely make a defensible position out of uh, my current uh, setup here. Might as well heal while you're there, and I think that's good for the turn. Okay, don't keep going after him. I think I need to heal him again. No, 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 no. Crap. Oh. Uh, he goes down in like three hits. See, that's why I have such a defensible position, because I feel like... Whenever I need to worry about that, that happens. Pretty reliably. down, and I see another one. Spell faster, right? Eh? Yeah, let's not let it go after this guy. Can I gambit it? No, I need to gambit from a distance. Forgot about that. Not you. I think I need to move forward just a little bit to gambit you. Yeah. I won't let you anywhere near Lord Lanato. Oh, you're the commander? I will help also. Oh, that's all I we won't hold back. That's all I need to do, technically, take you out, right? Ah! Well, this has become much simpler. Who wants a level up? You're so much closer than I... No way this is the end of the map. Unless he just, like, has been advancing every turn and I've just been moving slowly. Oh, that's two shots. Okay. Lenato, please don't die. I'm sorry, but I don't believe Lord Lenato has the strength to carry on. I don't think he has much choice. You could use a level up. And it's said to beat the enemy commander, right? Do we have another battle, maybe? Yeah, that's definitely an intimidating weapon, especially in this fog. With this glow. So it definitely gives away the location. It's you. Thunderstrike Cassandra. It was your wretched zealotry that killed my son! <laughs> the only name I answer to is Catherine. Prepare to taste the blade of one who serves the goddess. Now you face a knight of Theros!
There we go. The fog has cleared. There's nothing left to hide you or the filthy central church from the judgment of the goddess. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, uh... Anyone close enough to be going after my guys? No. No, 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 no. Okay. Ooh. Yes. I'm fine with that go getting it, Zax. If anything, it might be safer that way. Oh god, they're coming from behind too now. Uh, none of them are... Wow, they do not have much movement, do they? Okay. Well, let them come to us. Not making much of an effort. This one doesn't even seem to be going towards me. So if I... Yeah, I could take her out pretty reliably. Or take, it, uh, take him out pretty reliably. But then have someone go after me. I could probably take a hint. Lord Lenato doesn't deserve such sadness and anger. Now it's your turn to suffer. Oh, I think we have had nothing to do with it. I guess Catherine probably did, though. Okay, uh, double back for safety. For some of my guys. She should be strong enough with her attack to take care of him, but, you know. Let's provide some extra support. Oh yeah, you're gonna go after Anna instead? Sure, why not? Here. You fooled yourself! Shit, really? I should have checked the hits. I guess it must have been much lower than I thought it would be. <laughs> Fuck, man. Echo's just strong. I don't know how she got that strong. 20 and 20 attacks. Just a normal attack, Zoom. Um, I can see the use of this, but no, I don't typically play like that, do I? We're splitting up a little bit, though, so. Good luck, everyone. You can, you can take the middle. <laughs> you can definitely take the middle. We'll make a line instead. We might be spreading ourselves a little bit too thin, but, you know. Miss, 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 and also miss. I'm okay with that. Oh, are you using your sword? God damn it. Use your magic. I didn't have the proper thing equipped, did I? Aye, Karumba. Get four attacks. One of them's gotta hit eventually, right? Here, yeah, let, let's draw them in and use this uh, environment in order to block off their potential escape path here. Good throw! Yay, javelins! Woo! Uh, 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe they should be a little bit more careful. I don't know what I was so afraid of. But you never know going to a battle if you're just going to be completely outmatched. Oh, come, don't take the kill from me. I want that experience. Oh, you bastard. Okay. Probably want to draw these guys. Well, she could probably take care of these guys. I will form a... No one can be coming from behind us, yeah? No worry about that whatsoever. That's fine. So let's... Maybe not there. I can see why allies fall there constantly. Woo! Here. Let's not move anyone. Except getting people in a little bit better of a position to advance forward. Oh no, let's just move everyone. Thanks. Good to have uh, them be alive. And while you're here, might as well make use of our vulnerabilities. I, I don't care about using items. I legitimately don't. <laughs> Unless, unless they yeah. seem particularly OP. Vulneries do not in the slightest. Repent from the grave. Uh, oh. Do I just need to be more aggressive? Because I'm the one pulling them in. Then she goes after them because she gets to move first. Is one ever going to move? They're never going to move unless I let Catherine be the one to draw them in. Hmm. At what point did they start? Well, let's put you... Here. You... What an interesting proposition. So what does Stride do again? I'm not remembering. It's increased movement, right? It's not like increased. Avoidance. Is it? Well Super okay, yeah, that's definitely increased movement. Holy moly. So if we place you here, then again, I could probably just start taking them out one by one. So if I if I move all the way over here, that would only pull those three still. So Oh, uh, well. I'm taking a bit of a risk here. Oh, that easily does enough. Oh my goodness.
I'm drawing quite a few of them at this point. Three of them. So I need to make sure I take out as many of them I, as I can sooner or later. So there are four attacks coming, so if I can take out two of them, then I shouldn't even really need to worry too much about how much damage they're going to do, because I think both Edelgard and Echo would be pretty reliable in taking two attacks if necessary. Is this even more powerful than my normal? It's not, but I take a little damage on the other one. Hmm. I don't trust her not to take any damage, though. That's the problem, realistically. Those two are still going after her. I bring her up. So, items. Equip one of these, because that's part of the problem. Well, actually, that's another option. I feel better about her... How much are they going to do on... More than... Well, not much, actually. So, she's a lower level, but... I think I can make this work how I want to. That's reliable. Don't have to worry about the damage. Not so fast. I do have to worry about the damage. What? What? Wait, I thought it... Oh, I, I need to read it every time. I I thought I saw something on his side. How do I do Divine Pulse? Yeah. I just don't want to do that anymore. Well, let's see what I was being a dumbass about. They, okay, that does a damage. That does damage for some reason. And I can do things how I want this way. It just goes through heavy armor better, I guess. That's quite a bit of the health. That'll definitely die if I do not heal. Which is That's the idea. Cue. Yeah, that is indeed your cue. So, I don't think either of them are doing half damage, so... Yeah, that's ten, which you can take another one for. Oh, and then, yeah, there's that over there. Okay. Time to make this count. Thank you. I am Ferdinand von Eyre. These guys might as well go over and, I guess, try to help. Put me in there. They're 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 a bit out of the play at the moment because of the lack of the stride. On their side. I will get the victory. Oh, cool. It's like about as much as taking out an enemy. Hard work create. Cool. <laughs> cool. That's going up fairly quickly. Was that level one just a couple battles ago? I think her- yeah, her oh, iron no. bow's broken. I keep forgetting to purchase a replacement, basically. But it should still be all the 
the hit is really low, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Especially... Yeah, I definitely shouldn't. Who do I want levels on, though? Honestly, I want levels on you, but fuck, man. It's been so fucking hard to get levels on you. As you wish. Yeah, that was going to be a short fight. Are we going to let her try to take him out? No, we're not going to let... You have been deceived by that witch. I will show you the truth. No damage, eh? Interesting. It doesn't seem like there's any other way to get in close enough to attack outside of going... Well, actually, no, never mind. That is just straight up a different path. Seems to have, uh... No, not you. Sorry, you're just not in the condition to do anything. That's unfortunate. That's a high percentage attack. Doing something resembling damage. Let's see, is this even a decent option? No, not even fucking close. He is healing too. Okay, we're really gonna have to make this count. Are you able to get close enough to- No, you cannot. You. I will be the one to kill you. No other. You have lost all sense of justice. You want to fight me? So be it. I'll send you to meet your goddess. <laughs> Screw that. I want to finish this before you even get a chance. Do I have a chance? Okay, let's see if we can make the distance attacks uh, work first. That's a higher hit. It's still a relatively low hit. I could... It's basically gotta be Edelgard or Echo. Might as well take this spot. That's 100%. And that's a sure thing. Actually, best way to do this, best way to do this. Don't attack, but...
I feel like I'm forgetting to talk to people on the battlefield. Maybe that's just me. I never thought I'd see Lenato meet this fate. Well done, everyone. Let's gather our troops and go. <laughs> I was wondering if I get to level 10 off that. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I, I was... I feel like I've been missing talking to people, but... Yeah, I gotta be careful about letting uh, Echo be too big of a... Big of a thing in uh, replacement for everyone else doing their job. We have to have a full army, not a... Not a single person. Um... Yeah, uh, I feel like I haven't seen the talk option, at the very least. Oh, thanks to the efforts of Echo. Okay. Sure. For some reason. Damn it, it was all so pointless. I've never seen so many people utterly heartbroken. Forcing innocent citizens to risk their lives? That man was not a noble, but a monster. What could have pushed Lord Lenato to this point? Everyone was a bit shaken by the militia fighting alongside our enemies. Hmm... It is the reality of battle, though. Though, admittedly, I think... Oh, so, Echo's a mercenary, someone who makes light of stuff. I, I think... The mindset to get to that point is someone who just does not dwell on it. It happens. It's reality, it's the world, it's... What's the point in, you know, getting too caught up on the details, that sort of thing? If only everyone could face reality so unflinchingly. The commoners who allied themselves with Lord Lenato believed they were fighting for a just cause. It would be disrespectful to consider them simply victims when they died for what they believed in. Still, we have no choice but to eliminate those who cling to unreasonable ideas of justice. Even if our enemies are the gods themselves, we must never lose sight of our goal. Do you, do you have a particular idea in mind? Um... It's not a sort of mentality I would necessarily discourage. Because her point ultimately is, is it doesn't matter the power against you or the belief of uh, right of the people against you. I'm not saying disregard the other side, but the other side does not necessarily form the reason for you to back down entirely. So I, I, I agree with her, but it's more nuanced than how she's saying it. I'm surprised to hear you say that. Really, I'm just like Lenato. I, too, will be the sort of ruler who's willing to risk the lives of my citizens in service of a higher cause. It's not possible to change the world without sacrifice. Dying for the greater good is not a death in vain. Professor, I'm afraid this incident is far more serious than anticipated. I found this on Lord Lenato. It's a note that mentions a plan to assassinate Lady Rhea. We can't tell who sent it, so the source is suspect, but the content is too disturbing to ignore. Fair point. Uh... He ultimately had something against the church, right? So I wouldn't be surprised if there are other people who have things against the church. They apparently execute people, so... Maybe they don't want the church involved in their politics. The church does seem to have quite, um... An army. If they're the ones called in in order to... Quell a rebellion. If anything, the church seems way too powerful for its own good. And I generally tend to agree with that as a member of the church. We must report this to Lady Rhea right away. I hope that it's nothing. I am glad to see that you have returned safely. The goddess is gracious with her divine protection. But it was not only her divine protection that shielded you, was it? 
You are just as skilled as I had hoped. Oh, just because I was MVP. I'm a good teacher. My students deserve the praise. I am not so sure. I heard some of the students were hesitant about fighting militia. And their performance in light of that is even all the more impressive, isn't it? However, we must punish any sinner who may inflict harm upon believers, even if those sinners are civilians. I pray the students learned a valuable lesson about the fate that awaits all who are foolish enough to point their blades towards the heavens. I don't think they did, and that's probably for the best. Because if that's really your goal... Oh... Oh, you don't think that she's the one who's setting up this uh, supposed assassination. I could imagine that. Like, let's consolidate her power again by making a quick, like, uh, plan to assassinate the head of the church. We'll get everyone who's against the church on that side, take them out, like, make sure they take action against us and we're defending ourselves. But we know everything that's going on, so we can defend everything, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe. I could imagine that. She feels like the sword, especially with this being the lesson she wants us to take from it. Our real concern is what Catherine reported. The secret message that was in Lord Lenato's possession. It contained a deplorable plot to target the Archbishop on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. The plan seems unrealistic at best, but a threat is a threat. We must maintain constant vigilance. To that end, I would like for you and your students to help with security on the day of the ritual. <laughs> uh... Um... Well, I wouldn't say we won't let her down. I feel like I would be more worried about the students. Even if they encounter an enemy whom they cannot best, they should be fine, so long as they have you on their side. Just because I have time rewinding power- I mean, a little, yeah. Do you know about them? You shouldn't know about them, right? The rite of rebirth is of paramount importance. It is when the Church of Seros and its believers unite to pray for the return of the Goddess. The Archbishop and I will be confined to the Goddess Tower once the ritual begins. Of course, the Knights will be on high alert as well. But there aren't enough of them to keep watch on every corner of the monastery. Hmm. So, do you want us to be backup guards? Uh, patrol guards? Or. What? Also, it's sort of concerning that you have, like, this significant military force, but you don't have enough just to protect this place from, like. Uh. Whatever. Uh, I will say, though. If, if this is a paramount ritual to pray for the return of the goddess, how's that been going so far? Any goddess returning yet? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm like the most anti-church person. It is far from ideal to be forced to mobilize students, but the gravity of this situation requires that we all bend to avoid breaking. While there is no need to fear for my safety, we cannot turn a blind eye to those who would blaspheme so heinously. With any luck, this will all be for naught. Still, be on your guard. Yeah, I don't think I'd buy it. Sort of, I, I sort of wish I could talk to Dussault about this, but... Or was it Jerome? I forget his name. 